Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 21st, 2019. So I hope everyone had a great day yesterday. It was kind of a slow day until the FOMC, and the FOMC signals no interest rate increases for the rest of the year. The market's initial reaction to that was a bullish move. Let's take a look at a quick 15 minute chart. It was a bullish move, but then that seemed to be um, rejected before the end of the day. Futures last night, um, Dow futures anyway, were down about 100 points. Um, they have responded back up slightly, and now they're dipping lower again as, um, as I... Um, I'm recording this video right now Dow futures are down 112 points so we're kind of floating around here uh, quite a bit and I, I'm guessing that the reason um, that the market is struggling just a little bit here is just simply because we have well kind of a, a no confidence vote at the moment a no confidence vote um, by the Fed um, in, in the strength of our economy, um, suggesting that no interest rate increases over the course of uh, the year. So we've got some conflicting um, signals here in the market. We'll talk about that in just a second. Um, but let's take a, a quick look here at what we have going on right now in these charts and trying not to predict anything just looking at the charts themselves we have to recognize the fact that the dow itself has created a lower high there is a lower high and a downtrend and we did follow through with that um, yesterday now this morning with the dow gapping down a little bit that could be creating a little bit of pressure here on the overall market and this has shifted around so much even my morning blog is going to be a little bit out of date and it's only a few minutes old uh, because we were um, at one point looking higher this morning in the Nasdaq and that is not the case at the moment and that could change yet today but as you can see just this little concern going on here um, in the Dow and um, if that were to continue to drag things lower, uh, here's, here's, here's the nasty truth of the matter. Technically speaking, um, this was a lower high. That created a lower low. And we've rallied back to a, another lower high, which certainly could indicate a new lower low is on the way. So watch that closely if that were to occur. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now the SPY, much better situation here, but um, and holding, the reason I say that, because we did break out, we got above this level, we held in here. And as you can see, these three tops right here really combined together for a nice little level of support now this morning we're showing just a little bit of bearishness looking to gap down slightly um, pretty close to um, yesterday's um, low of the day if that were to continue to slip and break back down below that support technically that could create a little bit of a problem for us if we lose that support so we'll want to keep an eye on that keep in mind if we can continue to move on up we have resistance levels above to deal with and um, it usually requires you know some, some significant energy to pump through or push through uh, big barriers like that so we'll need some kind of catalyst to move us along and you know and that could be something as simple as uh, word on the Chinese a trade deal you know could move us uh, move us right back up so all is not lost here but there is reason for some a little bit of concern let's take a look at um, the cues now the cues by far the strongest of the bunch um, you can see cues have just rallied 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 basically we're in our ninth day here of move we had this little rest day but basically nine days up in the NASDAQ and we're pressing against this resistance area 
in the chart. You can see we tried to break through that yesterday and ended up pulling back before the end of the day. And now this morning, uh, earlier this morning, it looked like the NASDAQ was going to open higher, attempt to open higher. Now those futures are pointing just slightly lower here um, this morning. Now that may be a result of an earnings report or something along those lines, but we'll have to keep an eye on that. So let's take a look at IWM. So we first off we have uh, diamonds looking a little bit um, cautious. We have the SPY and uh, the Qs actually holding up pretty strong. And then we add in the IWM, which also created that lower high. You can see there's those lower highs. And so that lower high created a new low rally back lower high will that create a new low i don't know but i can tell you that that's not a good picture to be looking at at the moment on the NAS, um, iwm let's take a quick look at the uh, vix now the vix creeped up again yesterday and as you can see just creeping up here um, maybe giving us a clue of a little bit of fear coming into the market now once again this resistance up here has done a really good job for us so even if that creeps up into here um, we should be okay as long as we don't breach go above and hold that area as support but as it creeps up here a little bit just a little bit of caution might be in order a um, little bit of fear maybe coming into the market which could certainly trigger some profit taking as we head toward the weekend so keep that in mind if that were to continue we could see some of that profit taking start uh, happening in the market let's take a look at t21 22 that four week new high new low ratio and as you can see yesterday we dipped really quickly in t2122 and meaning that we still we still have more room to the downside and we're getting that gap down maybe this morning now um, could move us down here toward that bearish reversal type or excuse me bullish reversal zone so we'll have to keep an eye on that um, if we get that dip down testing those overnight lows in the futures we might find that rally coming right back up so you never know um, um, with a market like this we're just really um, well it, it's it's been a really challenging market being so tepid in the way it moves and 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 uh, pounding against that resistance so um, so strongly we just keep pounding 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 but we haven't been able to really um, pop through there or really blow through um, that resistance level so keep that in mind t2122 definitely is showing we have more room to the downside to move and we have plenty of room to the upside to go as well let's take a look at our economic calendar today our economic calendar here we go economic calendar doggone it pick that up again our economic calendar um, showing jobless claims here at 8 30 a.m we'll want to pay attention to that we'll also want to pay attention to that philly fed business outlook which comes at both um, out at 8 30 this morning we do have leading indicators quarterly service surveys um, I wouldn't expect those to move the market around at all that natural gas report unlikely that that moves the market around much at all and we have just a slew of bond auctions and announcements uh, going on here today um, and then the Fed balance sheet at 430 which rarely makes any uh, move for the market so something to pay attention to we had about 95 companies just short of 100 companies reporting earnings uh, on the calendar today uh, one of the big ones um, is Nike Nike will be reporting it may have already reported looks like it's looking for a little gap up here this morning so we'll want to keep an eye on that nike in a actual actually a very nice bullish pattern moving um, higher breaking through resistance and if that is going to gap up here this morning that would be a confirmation hold of support maybe a chart you want to keep um, on your radar um, and add to your watch list that is a nice breakout here um, one to pay attention to for sure 
So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube and click those thumbs up buttons. By the way, make sure you click that bell icon as well. That makes sure you get notified when um, I post a new video. And um, make sure you uh, click that thumbs up button, leave a comment, and thank you to everyone who does that. that that really means a lot to me and it helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks thank you very much also please please feel free to share this video with any friends and family you know post it on your facebook page post it on your twitter um it's it's free and open to everyone and every little bit helps if uh, uh if if you think this is a helpful video or helpful videos that we have on the channel, then um, share that with other folks. Um, they might feel the same way. So thank you uh, very, very much for everyone who does that. Let's take a quick look at a few charts that could be um, setting up possible trades. One thing I wanna point out um, right off the bat here is the financials. If we go to XLF, XLF did not respond well to that no rate decision uh, by the FOMC. So you can see our financials and we're looking to gap down here this morning a little bit on um, XLF. And if we look around, you know, BAC, these financials did not respond well to those moves. So we might want to keep an eye on some of these financials um, if they start to uh, push a little bit lower. Um, that could be a major uh, concern for us. Also, um, IYT, the transports, if you believe the Dow theory at all or follow the Dow theory, transports uh, really need to be moving for us for the market to move up. And as you can see, we have had consecutive failures along this downtrend line. And this failure down into here, we tried to rally a bit off of that yesterday, off of this support. And we could certainly rally off of that support. Um, I just don't want to see us fail through here. That could give us a little bit of bearishness in the market. So let's watch that closely on IYT. If we can't get those transports moving, um, that may um, create a little bit of struggle for the overall market. Let's take a look. Um, I don't know if anyone has, has paid attention to Pan W. Pan W, really nice looking chart. Broke my alert yesterday. After gapping up big um, on an earnings event, pulling back, recovering, holding above support, looking very, very good here. Now, don't be surprised if this needs a little bit more time and consolidation because of the way the market is acting right now. But that looks really, really good here and an opportunity to trade. Um, also, keep a keep an eye on Apple. Apple had a beautiful recovery yesterday, beautiful move. And as you can see, Apple is looking higher this morning and despite the market trying to push down so you might want to keep an eye on Apple now don't be surprised don't be surprised Apple responds very very well to its trend as you can see don't be surprised if this kind of slides over toward that trend um, if that um, needs a little bit more time for that rest in there take a look at Home Depot Home Depot, really nice response up yesterday, moving nicely. And I suspect it has something to do with all the flooding um, here in my state, um, all the damage and, and things. There are billions of dollars of damage uh, because of the extensive flooding that we've had here in this area. And Home Depot uh, is, and Lowe's and those kind of folks um, or companies should benefit from that. I know I've already spent a good chunk uh, there and will be spending some more in the repairs on my place uh, from the flooding. So take a look at this, this rally up. I kind of need a little resting pullback on this. A little consolidation, a little pullback, and then I would be interested in that trade. But Home Depot looking pretty darn good. Take a look at BlackBerry, BB. BB, another nice potential setup coming here. You can see this was my last alert. That nice little consolidation over over to the trend moved up and now look at how we've moved over toward the trend again might want to keep an eye on BB for that potential 
of that pop back up. Also, you might want to keep an eye, and I've mentioned this, I mentioned these yesterday, mentioned um, BABA, BABA, it responded lower yesterday, but had a nice little rally back. Now, I don't know if that, right now the futures are suggesting lower, um, or at least the um, uh, opening print looks like it could be lower today on Home Depot, but uh, or excuse me, Baba, but we want to see um, that come back up and it's probably going to require some news out of um, the China trade deals to kind of help that along. If you're looking for a short, a short trade, um, take a look at Schwab. Um, Schwab failing at price resistance right here, failing at the downtrend. Um, Schwab might be a good short trade to um, have uh, if you're looking for uh, that short this morning. So everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is, um, you find, find yourself struggling, uh, you know, as a trader, please understand you're not alone. Um, when I, when I was coming up as a trader, uh, I mean, for years, years and years and years, I struggled as a trader, trying to find my niche, my place, my, uh, my set of rules, the things that will, will move me along, um, in my trading. When I finally kind of got that straightened out and figured out and developed the discipline and the temperament for, uh, for trading, everything started to turn around. Now, there's nothing special about me, okay? I work really hard at what I do. I'm, I'm very dedicated to what I do, but um, I'm just an old carpenter. And if I can figure this stuff out, so can you. So please stick with it. Don't give up on yourself. Maintain that dream of, of being that independent business in, in the trading world. Um, and do treat it like a business. This is a business. This is not a hobby. You cannot come at this as a hobby. This is a business. So think about it that way and plan accordingly. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to encourage you all to just stick with it. Keep working hard and um, uh, moving forward uh, with your dream of trading. Everyone, take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. And we'll talk to you all bright and early bright and early Friday morning. Take care.